Hey everybody, it's Izzy here. I am going to give you a nice time-saving tip in this video. If you're working inside of Final Cut Express and you see me edit, you'll see that I use keyboard shortcuts a lot because they're a big time saver. Well, one keyboard shortcut that you see me use is when I hit the home key on the keyboard. And you'll see here I have the playhead just sort of in the middle of the sequence right now. And when I hit the home key on the keyboard, the playhead bounces to the very beginning of the sequence. It goes on to the very, the very first frame there. Equally, if I have the playhead in the middle somewhere and then I hit end on the keyboard, then you can see that the playhead moves to the very end. Well, that's a really nice time saver to be able to just quickly hit home or end to go to the beginning or the end of your sequence. But what happens if you're on a laptop computer and you don't have a home key or an end key and it's not very easy to attach an external keyboard or use some sort of other function keys? Well, there's a couple things you could do. Obviously, you could just click and drag to move the playhead to the beginning. Uh, who wants to do it that way? That's very difficult. Let's set up, a, let's set up an, e an interesting trick that'll make things easier for us. The first thing we're gonna do is go up to the Tools menu and click on Tools, then go to Button List. That'll bring up our button list here. You'll notice you have several different options with twirl down triangles, officially called disclosure triangles, next to them. When you click on that, it shows additional options underneath. The area I'm looking for is called the go to section right here, go to. I'm gonna click the triangle and then you see where it says go to beginning? I'll go ahead and scroll it up here. It says go to beginning. I can just click and drag and actually create a button here. I'm just gonna drag it out to my toolbar and you'll see that as I get close in there, you see how it automatically makes room for my button? I'm gonna go ahead and set it right here and now I have a go to beginning button right there and I'm also gonna get a go to end button. I'll just click and drag to bring the go to end button. Now I'm gonna put the beginning button on the left and the end button on the right, so I'm gonna move it right here and you can see that it makes space for me right there. And now to make it easier to identify, I'll go ahead and close down this button list by the way, but to make these buttons easier to identify, I'm gonna just right click or control click right above it and choose color and let's just, let's just choose blue here, make it easy to see. Okay, so now I can see that my, my buttons here are different color than my buttons here, so it'll be easier to identify what button does what. In fact, let's go ahead and add a spacer here too. This is something else you can do, add spacer. Okay, and if it's in the wrong place, by the way, you can just click and move it, just like a button. You can click and move buttons around also, same way. All right, so now I have a button here. So if my playhead's in the middle of my sequence, I wanna quickly go to the beginning, I can just click here and go to the beginning, or click here and go to the end. It's a big time saver for those of you that don't have a full-size keyboard with all the extra buttons. Hopefully that's helpful. See you in the next video.